right so we've already studied about valence bond theory in valence bond theory i have discussed about three important topics remember because in your exam when they've asked you valence bond theory they don't like summarize or something like that you have to write about three important concepts that is the formation of hydrogen atom with the information about repulsive forces and attractive forces you'll also be writing about orbital overlapping concept under that you have positive overlapping negative overlapping as well as no overlapping zone where you know alignment if the alignment is not proper after that, you'll also be explaining the concept of sigma and pi bonds where sigma bonds are more stronger than pi bonds right now i'll be coming to the next concept next theory that is vesper theory so as the name suggests it is this is a shortcut let us write the full form v stands for valence s yes, stands for valence shell electron pair r is repulsion theory valence shell electron pair repulsion theory so valence shell electron pair repulsion theory as name suggests this basically explains about the repulsion or the concept of lone pair and bond pair right let us see the postulates it is basically very easy but let us see whenever you are speaking about valence shell remember one thing vesper means you have to speak in terms of three things one is central atom lone pair and bond pair right in terms of these your answer your concept is clear now what is central atom basically if i speak about now i have uh, an atom called suppose if i have carbon dioxide in carbon dioxide carbon is a central atom carbon central atom right this is your central atom apart from this lone pair and bond pair i'll be representing so that is your central atom to around which your other atoms are linked so according to valence uh, shell electron pair repulsion theory let us see the postulates or approaches towards that first what what it says it says geometry of a molecule geometry or shape of the molecule so let me i need this whole board geometry or shape so geometry of the molecule depends on electron pair remember that it depends on electron pairs only as i said just now electron pair pairs are your lone pairs and bond pairs fine now your whole uh, this one your central atom i, I told just now uh, carbon dioxide carbon is central atom in ammonia nitrogen is a central atom in pcl5 phosphorus is a central atom right <coughs> in pcl3 phosphorus again is a central atom the first element remember it is a central atom right so this molecule or geometry whether it is linear planar triangle trigonal planar pyramidal everything depends on electron pairs so how many electron pairs do we have so your electron pairs as i said just now it electron pairs include lone pair is lp bond pair is bp fine where are these present electron pairs are present around the central atom so they are concentrated around the central atom that fine now always remember your lone pair lone pair repulsions are uh, very very stronger than lone pair bond pair repulsions which are stronger than bond pair bond pair repulsions remember that means whenever in a molecule <coughs> you have more number of lone pairs those repulsions are more compared to lone pair lone pair means this will affect the molecule so then compared to lone pair bond pair and compared to bond means bond pair bond pair is safest it will it will protect the molecule giving it a proper geometry or shape right based on this i write something else why am i doing this why am i writing in the exam start with geometry link it with the electron pairs then go to the order then after that come back to the position preferences what happens now if you have more number of bond pairs and bond pairs in the molecules right if the, that means bonded pairs are more means all are linked look here this is this 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 all are bond pairs bonded you have suppose you have x x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 all are bonded pairs i'm not finding any lone pairs you know free electrons so if i have such pairs bond if bonded pairs are more 
means if one if the particular molecule are uh, same that particular molecule will have perfect geometry you don't need to find perfect it has it will possess a perfect geometry perfect shape done suppose if you have lone pair and bond pairs in the particular molecule both right now problem starts if lone pair and bond pairs are present then it will give a distorted geometry i'll show you with, with examples it shows or it gives you a distorted means disturbed geometry it will not exactly be linear it will not exactly be octahedral it will not exactly be trigonal planar so it will show a variation or variation in the bond angle so <laughs> lone pair bond pair geometry is distorted so note these vesper theory postulates i'll come back and teach you the examples for them